Hello there and welcome to a refreshed episode of the MTN Super Falcon Show. My name is Oserame Ine Benebo. Now, on today's episode, before we kick off things, permit all of us at MTN and the MTN Super Falcon Show to wish Nigeria a happy 63rd Independence Day. Now, we wish the country more love, light, wealth and prosperity. Now, shifting attention to the stars of the show, which happen to be the Super Falcons, Cape Verde have been confirmed as the next opponents to face the Super Falcons in the 2024 Africa Women's Cup of Nations after walking over Sao Tome and a Principe. Now, we wish the Super Falcons all the very best as we know that they would qualify and in the very end clinch the 2024 Wafcon Trophy. Now, the 2023 Women's World Cup is over, but we are still reliving some special moments and so at the Super Falcons of Nigeria. Today, we catch up with one of our very own as she relieves the experience and tells us what it meant to her and some of her favorite moments from the tournament. Who is that Falcon? Well, we'll find out right after this break. Tell her why it's okay, make it relax like it's your by day. Anything you want to do it, and if you do, I'm no need to delay. You don't need to stress yourself, eh? You got that world in your hand. Living like a baby girl for life, make the people know. If you wanna buy your head time, easy access now one time. Everything back at the Welcome back and thank you for sticking with us on the MTN Super Falcon Show. Now, just before we went on that break, we were talking about the 2023 World Cup, the experiences it brought for the players. Now, we recently caught up with our very own defender, Ashley Plumter. Now, Ashley Plumter talks to us about what the entire World Cup meant to her, the round of 16 game and playing against her birth country. And by the way, that was a phenomenal performance, Ashley Plumter. But let's hear what she has to say. So looking back at the World Cup, um, I think as a team, we know from the outside looking in that people thought that we overachieved, but I think we all knew the um, the potential that we had. And I think some of us, well, all of us were even, when we got knocked out against England, we were disappointed cause, because we believed that we had the better game um, than England. So yeah, we're pleased with the way that we performed and especially, um, all as individuals but when it came to putting out a performance consistently in a world cup on the biggest stage as a team um yeah we all feel really proud of ourselves for that um and yeah as a personally as a player yeah i, I came into the tournament obviously with it being my first experience and um no i do look back and i feel proud of the way that i was able to represent this team and and the country on the world stage. I think the game against England will be one of the best and most um, most valuable and um, appreciative games I think I've ever played in in my football career to date. Um, yeah, when I stood up to line up against them and I heard the English national anthem and then I heard ours, it made me quite emotional um, in the sense that I felt just really grateful to be able to have, you know, with England, I'm born there, brought up there and had good experiences with England, but I always describe it as like two different parts of my life coming together in that one moment and it felt um, really special and I just felt so appreciative to be able to be stood there in that moment. 
it's hard to pick just one moment that I cherish the most. Um, obviously, the game against England is something I will remember for the rest of my life. Um, but it's probably the the moments when we came into the stadium and how unified I felt with the group. And that, of course, was our very own Oyibo defender, Ashley Plumter, talking to us about her experiences at the World Cup and what it meant to her to play for Nigeria. Now, in case you're not already following us across all social media platforms, this is the perfect time to do so. It's at MTNNG on Instagram and Twitter. It's MTN Nigeria on Facebook and YouTube. And, of course, our very own pages, The Super Falcons Show. This is the perfect time to follow us across all social media platforms because you know we're all about giving and generosity on this show. So look out for our freebies. Now, this show, as we already said, is dedicated to defender Ashley Plumter. Now, in the second part of the interview, she talks to us about why she decided to play for Al Itihad in Saudi Arabia, away from England. And she talks to us about her crush in the Super Eagles. Who is it? Let's find out. I've always been somebody who um, plays football for more than just football itself. A feeling that I've like never really had before. I connected with the coach straight away. And in all fairness, we didn't really talk about football that much in our first conversation. Um, it was about the things that we value, the things that we want to do in our lives and um, what are like perceived, or well, for me, I always say like, what is my perceived um, view of success and I always link it back to um, fulfillment that I feel within myself and I knew that um, making the decision to go abroad was me connecting with more of myself and being on the, the path that I knew I I knew I should be on because even though I don't really have expectations it's just about well where am I best fitted um, yeah, I'm not going to comment on a Super Eagles crush, but in terms of player, um, I've always, especially when he was at Everton, when they were struggling, I always respected Alexander Iwobi's, um work rate. I think he's a very good player, but I think for me, being a, a defender and a centre-back, I... I actually um, had the same coach at Leicester as Calvin Bassey and um, when I, so the coach that I had, he was our assistant coach, he coached Calvin when he was at Leicester and there was a couple of times when I would do clips with my coach and he would, he showed me a couple of clips of Calvin and I think in some areas were kind of similar. Oshie! <laughs> to all the Nigerian fans. <laughs> With unmatched coverage across Nigeria, MTN Broadband gives you reliable internet service to do whatever you want everywhere. MTN Broadband, data that's got you covered. <laughs> Ashley, your Yoruba could use a little bit of work, but mm, you'll get there. And no crush, huh? Mm, indeed. Anyways, that's the much we can take for today on the MTN Super Falcon Show. Remember that this show airs 9 a.m. every Tuesday on NTA, and you can also catch it on MTN's Ayoba app. My name is Osereme Inegbenebo, and I would also like to give credit to my producer, Tayo Ogunshaya, who is doing a phenomenal job of packaging this entire show. I will see you, 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 and you in the very next episode. It's bye for now.